brought to my attention uh, by some parents that you might not be familiar with the way to use the online uh, application for your students. So it's the website is pearsonrealize.com. Uh, they have a login name and a password. This is just a sample account that I have uh, for a student account so I can see what it looks like. Uh, so when you log in, your students are going to see three pieces, um, classes, programs, and grades. Classes is the one where you'll see all the assignments that I have sent. Um, anything that hasn't been started yet, which means they haven't opened it and started working on it, uh, comes up here. Due dates all on the side are completely unimportant for your child or you. Those are the dates that they became available for your child. Uh, it requires me to put a due date on there in order for me to send it to them. Uh, you can see what's most recently been due by clicking that button that says due date. They will come to the top. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, things that your child are working on are in progress. Things your child have completed are here. So uh, ways to go ahead and things that you can see on here. There's videos. The videos recap things that we've been learning. Um, the child opens the video, clicks on the video to watch. Uh, they're short. They're pretty. They're usually pretty good. This one's a little bit longer than most. It's two minutes and thirty-nine seconds. Uh, when they're finished, so they watch the video. When they're finished, you click this blue check mark here. It will let me know that they've watched the video, uh, and it will ask them to confirm that they want to turn in their work. They turn it in, and it will send it to me saying it's been finished. Um, <clears throat> there are some opportunities to show learning. Um, it's actually another video, excuse me. Uh, opportunities for them to show learning either through uh, answering some questions. So they take quick three, five, five question, solve some five questions. Uh, there's an opportunity for them to listen. Um, they go through, they answer all the questions. I'm going to skip the actual answering of the questions. Um, <clears throat> when they're all finished, it will show you each one will obviously have been answered. Then they can submit where you can go back and check them. Once you hit submit the test, it will tell you how you did and you can't change the grades anymore. This is not an actual test. It's just for me to see a uh, quick check to see if you've actually gotten uh, the skills that hopefully we're lo looking for in the lesson. And when you've submitted something, you hit go back. It will bring you back to this main assignments page. Um, <clears throat> want to jump back into programs. Programs gives you an opportunity to preview what we are going to be doing for the topics. These are all the topics for first grade. Uh, same thing would be be the same for second grade. The topics different, but the preview, preview programs would be the same. Um, so first grade, we're, we're digging into topic six. So it'll show you all the different lessons um, that we're working on. It will show you not quite everything that I get to see, but it will give you a chance to the videos, um, and the student textbook as well. So you get to see basically all the types of things and this will open up a student version of the textbook in another window. Um, all this uh, is available for you to work with your kids at home. Um, last one is grades. It will show you uh, if your child's completed any tests and this I, I haven't done too many online tests uh, assignment progress, things they have and haven't started, and you can pick the dates. It'll give you a chance to see what they've been up to, whether at home or in class. Uh, we try to do some of these things in at home, or excuse me, try to do some of these things in class, but sometimes they do not get time to finish, or they have some things that they're backlogged on. Uh, so it'd be great to see more kids turning in assignments at home. If you're looking for good math computer games to play, they have games in the Game Center, Kids like to go in the game center. Most of them know how to get there. Uh, I try to keep them to grades they are have already completed. So for first grade, that's first and kindergarten, and for kindergarten or for second grade, that's second, first, and kindergarten. Uh, they can play the games. Um, there's usually a set option to learn teaches them how. Uh, all that's all those are options for good uh, math games to play. Some of them are a little tricky. They might need your help. Uh, so that's it. It's pretty easy. It's pretty simple and it's a great tool for you to keep in touch with what we're learning and for your kids to learn along with you.